I knew I had to figure out a way of making these characters real. And I knew it depended on how we developed these languages. R2-D2 took a long time. There were many versions of that over months that were failures. And you have to actually make him talk and make you understand what he's saying. And R2 had no mouth at all. Listen, what are you talking about? We were very worried that it would be incomprehensible. What eventually happened was, as George and I were talking to each other, we would say, well, R2 comes up to this point in the movie and he kind of goes, and suddenly we realized we were talking with expressive sounds. They had the intonation of meaning. We were verbalizing a sound that worked for us. And that led down the road of doing just that. I could do a vocalization and play something on the keyboard. And you could sort of work two things together. What mission? What are you talking about? I've just about had enough of you. Go that way. You'll be malfunctioning within a day, you nearsighted scrap pile. What sound adds to picture is so exhilarating. It's really half the movie. Movies sight and sound. You only express it with sight and sound. The point is to convey an emotion. <laughs> Film sound is an illusionary art. Sound, in many ways, is more tied to imagination. Film sound work wasn't always like that, but with dozens of sound editors editing thousands of tracks. But when it all started, movies were silent. Then in 1927, they actually recorded dialogue on the set. Wait a minute, you ain't heard nothing yet. And of course, it was a gigantic sensation. Sound was taking root in a new American renaissance of movies, in a way that had never been heard before. We were exploring the unknown. It's been very valuable in the evolution of humans' relationship to the cosmos. Your job is to come up with the unimaginable. You want the audience to feel the pain. Sound is still the best way to experience emotion. It's part of being human. You feel those goosebumps, then you've done it right. It's the single most labor-intensive editing process I've ever experienced. The work you all do makes these moments eternal. Hi guys, here's today's daily fact. The Star Wars saga is known for its special effects, but many famous sounds were actually made from an odd mix of noises, such as the lightsaber noise from TV hums, Chewbacca's voice from a mix of bears, walruses, and various dying animals, oh, and also Ewoks speak Tibetan and Nepalese. Remember to click below to subscribe or on the side for more great content.